As he holds his breath, the man's fate hangs in the balance. He's stuffed with packages of drugs. The man's nervous behavior has led to him being targeted. As he passes through the customs channels, Officer Michelle has been observing his body language. Thank you. She decides to intercept the passenger to ask him a few questions. Hello, sir. Have you got your passport on you, please? That's great. Have you got your ticket as well? Any ticket? And where do you live, sir? In Holland. So how long are you here for? How long are you here in England for? No, to be, I'm, I'm going to Holland. Right, so you've been to Porta Plata. Yeah. Come here, yeah. and from here you're going back to Holland, are you? Yeah. Where, when? When are you going back to Holland? Yeah. Is it a flight from here or a flight from Heathrow? Yeah. All right, have you got the ticket for that? Michelle keeps firing questions to find out if he's telling the truth. No cigarettes at all, nothing like that. OK, you also know it's illegal to bring any controlled drugs, weapons, explosives, etc., into the country, yeah? And these are your bags, are they? Did you pack your bags yourself? So you know what's inside them, do you? The man's travel plans just don't seem right, and Michelle is becoming increasingly suspicious. Just been out on a package holiday. Not so with friends or anything, went out on his own. He works in a factory in the Netherlands. He's flying on back today. They're all all right, aren't they? The X-ray shows no concealments of drugs, but a concerned Michelle still isn't happy. Sometimes we have a problem with people bringing drugs through on their bodies. OK, okay. so therefore we want, just want to give you a rub down of your body, OK? But we won't do it here, we'll do it out the back, OK? As the man's led away, there's a feeling his story just doesn't add up. He only works in a factory in Holland, so it's obviously not really well paid. Um, he's picked to go to Porta Plata, which is an unusual place for someone to go. He's gone on his own, and um, he's booked it all last minute. He's got all the extras you can possibly have. So it makes his holiday very expensive just for seven nights to, and to go on his own. It's, it's just bizarre, that's all. You just get feelings with some things, and it just, just doesn't seem right. Yeah, if you stand like this, that way. Yeah? Yeah. Go, go up onto the top, onto travel, travel later. If you can breathe in as well, that will help us. You ready breathing? As he holds his breath, the man's fate hangs in the balance. His day is about to get a lot worse. He's stuffed with packages of drugs. OK, sir, from what we can see on the X-ray, looks like you have packages inside you. Time is 08.53 hours. I'm arresting you on suspicion of being involved in the importation of a controlled drug. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention one question, something that you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand that? OK, sir. He's got little packages which will probably be condoms full of cocaine. And now, literally, we've got to take him down, get him custodised, and then he needs to concentrate on getting those packages out um, because he doesn't realise, you know, if, if one of those burst or leaked, it could cost him his life. He's made aware of his rights by the custody officer and for his own safety is told to get the packages out of his system as quickly as possible. Basically, when people have an internal concealment, um, to make sure we can see if they produce anything, we change them into a, what we call a white paper suit, and then we can see if there's anything happening. And un underneath, they'll be um, completely naked. The man indicates he needs to go to the toilet, but this is no ordinary toilet trip, and this is no ordinary loo. So he's gone into the special toilet facility where if he starts producing packages, um, they then have to be cleaned up by the officer who's gone in with him and um, then they'll be bagged up as well. So just waiting for him to come out to see if he has actually produced any. Yeah, yeah. The gentleman said he needed the toilet and while I haven't counted them at the moment, it looks like he's produced around 20 packages and he's told the custody officer he's got 60-something. So. Obviously, the quicker they're, they're out of his system, the best chance he's got of survival, basically. The 
The process of washing the packages is a very dirty job, but someone's got to do it. If one of the packages were to split, basically ends up in, with death within minutes, unfortunately. So that, that is why we try and get packages out of people as quickly as we possibly can, because the consequences of a burst package are pretty serious. With the packages washed, Officer Poole must bag them up and weigh them to find out what quantity of drugs the man was carrying. Definitely big packages. <laughs> 344 grams of cocaine so far. If you take away a little bit for the packaging, etc., it's probably about 300 grams. Of. One kilo nowadays is worth around 50,000 pounds. So he's, he's probably carrying about 50,000 pounds for drugs with them. Badges here. They're now seized from you, okay? And they're all yours. Obviously, it's The Dutchman pleaded guilty to smuggling cocaine and was sentenced to five and a half years in prison. Further inquiries resulted in another arrest. Border agency officers working in immigration are alerted to a couple who've been acting suspiciously. A woman dressed in black and a man in a stripy jumper head to baggage reclaim. Officer Brandon decides to follow them to monitor their behavior. We got two tires from Malaga. Um, we pull them on, just quick chat and check what they've got. You never know. Brandon moves into position, ready to intercept the couple as they pass through the customs channels. Hello, they're both customs. Just come through, please. He gets his phone back, but seems a little agitated. <coughs> then a package is found, which might explain why. What's the name, mate? It's uh, sweets. Sweets. All sweets. Right, I'll open it up because I can't see what's in there. Go on. But Brandon's not falling for that. He opens the package to check the contents himself. Yeah, so sweets, is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's cannabis, it isn't it? Herbal cannabis? You're not sure? You said you packed the case yourself? Yeah. All right. But yeah, this time, all right, you're under arrest. All right? All right. Basically, you put me both under arrest, you're both traveling together, okay? A suspicion important and illegal drug, control drug, all right? Now, you don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention in question something you're too late to rely on in court, all right? Anything you do say, maybe give an evidence, do you understand? With both passengers under arrest, their cases continue to be searched. And it doesn't take long to find a number of identical packages. How much you got in total, mate? And as with the man's case, there's more than just one package. The drugs have been crudely concealed in clothing with little attempt to hide what's inside. As the last block is removed from the case, the couple know they've been caught red-handed. There's uh, six resin uh, cannabis and four packages of uh, herbal cannabis. Um, I'm not sure which at the moment. I, I understand we say, but I can't at the moment, all right. The man should perhaps be more concerned about the illegal drugs found in his suitcase than having a cigarette. But tampering with the drug seizure will only get him in more trouble. As the couple are taken away for a full body search, officers are eager to find out how much they found. 
2.68 kilos of herbal cannabis and 5.48 kilos of cannabis resin adds up to a haul worth over 20,000 pounds. It's a huge amount of illegal drugs removed from the street. It has been adopted by a higher level team, if you like, within the department, and they usually only take on the larger cases. So, uh, so we wait and see, but it is a substantial amount. There's no getting away from that. It's been an excellent day for Brandon. Less so for the couple who'll now be detained in custody.